The purpose of the church is profound. We exist for the glory of Christ, the beauty of his bride, and the good of the city. This church started almost 10 years ago with gatherings in Silver Lake and North Hollywood, but our story starts years before that. God brought a small group of people from Atlanta to the sunny metropolis of Los Angeles, all intent on one mission, build a church that loves God and loves the city. I'm so happy and proud to say that that is what we have done. We've met in schools and concert halls and clubs all over the city, building a church with some of the most wonderful Christians in Los Angeles. We've seen many different seasons. We've loved many different people. We've gathered in many different venues and we've sung many different songs, but through it all, we have served the same God. After 2020, our church reached a milestone with the purchase of a permanent home. It was very clear that our roots in LA were growing deeper and that in many ways, our story was just beginning. God gave us the gift of permanence and at the same time, we were learning to live more deeply into our Christian history and into our unique calling. We are more scriptural, more sacramental, more spirit-led than we've ever been before. We're more prayerful, more presence-driven, more devoted to discipleship. And with a vision for Southern California and beyond, we are bigger in our thinking than ever before. Last summer, I attended the conference of a friend of mine's church up in the Bay Area when God spoke something to me very clearly. During the time of worship on the opening night, he invited me just to look around and take in my surroundings. And as I did that, God said to me, you are standing in your friend's head. You are standing in a vision fulfilled. And then he asked me a wonderfully striking question. He asked, what would it look like to stand in your head? And I knew in that moment that God wasn't just inviting me to describe that vision, but to name that vision. Over the last several years, our church has deepened. Our mission is the same, but our identity has become much more clear. And so with that clarity, the time has come for us to embrace a new name, Cathedral. Cathedral, like the structures themselves, exists to provide a new encounter with an ancient faith. It is a symbol for the worn path of the saints, restored for the 21st century. It is a dwelling place for a fresh outpouring of the Spirit, grounded in eternal truth. It is a foundation for a city that is constantly being torn down and rebuilt. It is a new canvas for the God who is the original creator. It's a community that believes that God is infinitely glorious and inexpressibly generous and yet has faith for all that God still wants to do. Cathedral is you and I, our past, our present, and most of all, our future. Cathedral is a church, the glory of Christ, the beauty of his bride, and the good of the city.